Type 2. I tell you y is equal to x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. Find dy. The question will just say find dy over dx. That's the question. Answer in the exam. You're going to say y is equal to, I said, simplify this first. x squared minus 9, x minus 3, x plus 3. That's a difference of two squares over x minus 3. x minus 3, x minus 3 cancels. y is equal to x plus 3. Right, now we insert, now we do the derivative. This was the before part. So we say, therefore, dy over dx is equal to 1 times 1 is 1. x to the power 0 is 1. The derivative of a whole number is 0. Your answer is just simply 1. The derivative of a single unknown is always 1. Let's see. Let's go on to type 3. Let's see how well you can perform with this one. Question in the exam. I tell you dx. I tell you 5 over 2 root x minus the cube root of x plus 5 over x squared. Okay? In fact, let's not make it so tricky for you. You just might might not know how to do it. Let's put it in terms of y. So let's get started. Right, the before part. So y is equal to, we got 5 over 2. This is x to the power half. So x to the power half will come up to the top as x to the power negative half minus x to the power 1 over 3 plus 5. x to the power plus 2 will come up to the top as x to the power minus 2. There we go. In one step, we've brought it all linear. Right, let's now say, let's now find the derivative. Therefore, dy over dx is equal to power times coefficient minus 1 from power. So, negative times positive is a negative. We've got 5 over, 5 over 2 times half is 5 over 4. x to the power minus half minus 1 is minus 1 and a half, minus 3 over 2. Minus, a third times 1 is a third. x to the power, a third minus 1 is minus 2 over 3. Negative times positive is negative. 2 times 5 is 10. x to the power minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. We've got negative powers in our derivative. Can that be our final answer? No. We now say the final answer minus 5 over 4 x to the power plus 3 over 2 minus 1 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3 minus 10. x to the minus 3 comes down as x to the power 3 or x cubed. Boys and girls, that's your final answer. You probably will get three to four marks for that. Okay. Let's give you another example. Let's erase. Now, the next one is a little tricky. You need to pay attention. The next one is a little tricky. Okay. Now, the same question. Now, you might ask, something happened before the break. You're going to say, but you wrote it in terms of dx. So, if it was given in terms of dx, how would we give the solution? So all you do, guys, if this question here, if this very question was given in terms of dx, that, if it was given, ah, sorry, dx, question, answer. So while you're simplifying, you leave the dx. So you just say dx, you're now going to have 5 over 2, x to the power minus a half, minus x to the power a third, plus 5x to the minus 2. There's it. It's still in terms of dx. The minute we find the derivative, blow out the brackets, remove that. The minute you put an equal to sign, it already indicates to the person who's marking you finding the derivative. You've got to put it in this format. Now you will get minus 5 over 4 x to the power minus 3 over 2 minus a third x to the power minus 2 over 3 minus 10 x to the power minus 3, which is equal to minus 5 over 4 x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3 minus 10 over x cubed. And that's the format in which it will be granted.